Okay, all right. It's, it's kind of gross. This is what happens when you get older, ladies and gentlemen. You get gross. Witness the future. <laughs> oh, their future's going to be so sad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's... I mean, I would apologize for you guys, but I don't think I did anything wrong. Oh, my God. Burgers! Hello, and a and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. My name is Skinny Minnie. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, um, we broke Pearls the Cyclops. Turns out she was supposed to channel Dahlia Hawthorne for reasons super not clear to us just yet. But we'll find out in this last trial. So, <gasps> last. Yeah, because this is the last trial of the game. Okay. <laughs> Shoot, I'm trying to add like, oh, to the to the, <laughs> to the video. <laughs> so it's like, yes, I know it's the last one. <laughs> oh, All right, so Let's... we're in here in the courtroom. I'm not. I'm saving still. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. And, um, I apologize for the quality on my audio for the past couple episodes. Apparently, my gain was turned up too high, and I finally figured out how to fix it. So, hopefully you can hear me okay now. Yeah, 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 you know, we, we try our best. Yes, because I'm not a techie person, even though I kind of supposed to be because I edit videos, and my degree is in editing, so I should know this. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a techie guy and I, I got my degree it has work technology in it but it doesn't mean i'm like the best <laughs> when it comes to stuff like this either i'm just saying i had to be the best i just should know what the f issue is okay anyway here's pearl <laughs> good morning oh are you by yourself uh uh morning pearls uh, mr nick please tell me what's going to happen to mystic maya i'm sorry we don't know yet the investigation is still going on, so I wasn't allowed into the inner temple. Oh, I see. So, is Sister Iris still trying to remove the trick locks from the in the training hall? No. She's a defendant in this case, so she can't be at the inner temple. She's required to be here in court. Um, then how come she's not here in the defendant's lobby? I have to admit, it is kind of strange. Uh. Um. Bum, 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 bum. I have. Uh, if you're looking for Iris, she's in the prosecutor's lobby. Oh, oh. Edgeworth! I, I did not realize this. Oh, Edgy Poo. Well, I know. I, that's not his name. Edgy Poo. Okay, then. I guess it's just not going to work with you. Edgeworth! What's Iris doing over there? She's going over today's testimony with the prosecutor as we speak. Today's testimony? You heard me. Iris is going to be testifying as a witness for the prosecution. Excuse me? Wait, what? The prosecutor is squeezing her for a confession. Or so I heard. Francisca von Karma, what are you up to? I know what you're thinking, but Francisca isn't going to be the prosecutor today. W what? Then who is? Who else would it be but Godot? Godot? Francisca is engaged in some important work at the Sacred Cavern. The Sacred Cavern? You don't mean she's... Exactly. She has been out there all night trying to remove those trick locks. With the head nun's assistance, naturally. We estimate that the last of the locks should be taken care of in about three hours. I hope everything continues to go smoothly as we receive some good news soon. Yeah. Thanks, Edgeworth. Oscar Godot intends to nail this case shut today. Be prepared to fight like there's no tomorrow. You don't have to tell me that. I know. I can already see it in your eyes. Your beautiful, luscious, blue <laughs> eyes. <laughs> You're not the same fever-ridden frantic maniac you were yesterday. It's strange. On the way here, I decided that today would be the end of all of this. Almost immediately after I made that decision, I felt myself getting stronger. Interesting. Maybe you've passed your cold on those onto someone else, <laughs> literally. And with that, I leave the rest in your capable hands, partner. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. It's like, oh. My fanfic is coming true. Edgeworth Senpai. 
my back kind of hurts. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> I still don't have any answers for most of the riddles plagued in this case. The circumstances around the murder of Miss Elise Donin? No. I mean, Miss Misty Fay. The impossible flights Larry claims he has seen? And what that woman is really after. I will solve them all and bring this whole tragedy to an end. Yes. Do it. Do it. February 10th. 10 a.m. Yay. Boop boop. <laughs> uh, who's the judge again? You. Oh. The court is now in session for the trial virus of Hazakura Temple. Uh, um, your honor? What are you- Oh, who? Me? Well, my little brother came to visit me in my chambers earlier this morning. All of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, he developed a scorching fever and fainted. Therefore, I'll be standing in for him. I, I see, Your Honor. So they're brothers. Well, that explains a lot. You haven't seen him yet. I- Ha. Huh. He Wait. was in bed, remember? Has he ever seen the other judge? Huh? Even- no, but I'm trying to think here. I don't think he has, has he? I don't know. We might be missing something, obviously. Something's by skipping our heads, but... Yeah, screw it. Okay. My, my poor brother. He looked a bit pale, not to mention sad that he couldn't be here. Oh, you know what? I'll do the judge. I totally forgot, because... Okay. So you'll, you'll cover it? Yeah, yeah. It'd be okay. easier on you, too. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, Gim. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible to predict what the future has in store for any of us. That is precisely why people feel the need to judge the past. And we of the Corps have been charged the solemn duty of passing such judgment. Well said, Mr. Godot. I understood exactly what you said. At least up until the end, anyway. Now then, Mr. Godot, please proceed with your opening statement. Humans are fragile, fickle beings. Our hearts, our, our hearts change with the shifting of the tides. There's only one thing that remains a constant in this crazy world. The bitter... ...out of this mug. So then you mean... Uh, uh, forget it. Uh, what do you mean... During yesterday's trial, the accused refused to admit her role in the crime. But today, she's had a change of heart. Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple has a confession to make. C a confession? Uh, the defendant? Iris, why didn't you? Why didn't she discuss this with me first? Oh, very well. This court will now hear the defendant's confession. Upon meeting a beautiful lady, I always ask for her name and profession. That's one of my rules. Um, my name is Iris. I am but a simple nun undergoing training at a Hazakura temple. Witness, is there something that you want to confess to? Yes, but first, I want to apologize to Mr. Wright. I... I can't continue lying to everyone anymore. It's alright. What is it? Mr. Wright, I... I have to admit that I... I did play a part in this terrible incident. Uh, are you actually confessing? Are you saying that you are the one who murdered Miss Elise Donim? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not, Your Honor. But I dealt with the cover-up after the murder took place. After her spirit left, I took the lifeless shell of Mr. Khalees and carried it to the Hazakura Temple Courtyard where I desecrated it. What? What? Order in the court! Order! Witness! Are you... Are you saying you are an accomplice to the murder? Yes, that's correct. What?! Three minutes in court and I'm already covered- I'm already covered in a cold sweat. <laughs> huh. Everyone on the planet is an accomplice to something. It just happens to be that in this case, it's to murder. Isn't that right, Mr. Trite? 
Oh, that could do. So this is the confession they were con uh, conferring about. It pains me to say this, but it looks like Iris' testimony was all a lie. Oh. Oh. Now then, little lady, if you don't mind, I've got a question for you. Whose crime were you trying to cover up by your actions? I was just covering for someone? No, uh, not when I'm definitely up a creek without a paddle. Or a life jacket. I've been at Hazakura Temple ever since I was a little girl. Hazakura Temple is run by one of the branch families of the Kurain tradition. One of our missions is to protect the main family. I'm sorry, but main family? Yes, and that's why I should... Uh, whoa. That's why I would dirty myself, if need be, to protect her. The daughter of the master of the Kurain channeling technique. Mystic Ma Maya Faye. Huh? Wake up and smell the coffee, Trite. She's naming... Maya?! Not again. Oh god, it's normal nowadays. Uh, order, order in the court. So not only is your witness the murderer, but you know the name of the murderer? I'm terribly sorry, but it's true. I saw her commit the crime with my very own eyes. And then I cleaned up the area to try and protect her. That's ridiculous! <laughs> Mike could never do such a thing. <laughs> you okay? Yep. <laughs> the defense will- oh, the defense will refrain from co uh, commenting until the appropriate time. Now, witness, let's hear your testimony. What exactly happened on the night of the crime? Yes, your honor. I thought I was prepared for the unexpected, but I never imagined a case where the case would wind up going in this direction. Nope. Not at all. Although we might have had a slight feeling because if Maya is involved one way, one how, it's no. Eh. Eh. All right, the real murderer. I went to the inner temple that night and I saw it all happen in the garden. I saw Mystic Elise strike Mystic Maya with her staff. While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend herself and stole the weapon. It was only a self-defense. You can't blame her for it. So mm. it was not self-defense. Uh, yes. Mystic Elise was the one who attacked first. Hmm. That's why I tried my best to protect Mystic Maya. You moved the victim's body to the temple so that Maya wouldn't be suspected. Isn't that right? Not bad. You've got the instincts of a true criminal. Dun, 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 that's smooth. <laughs> You know, something's not quite right. I'm sure it was established yesterday that Iris never went to the Inner Temple that night. And that the person who did go was... That woman. Iris even admitted it. Now then, Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. Oh yeah, I will. Hey. Shoot. Shoot, yes. Yeah. Go to it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna uh, press on one statement. Mm -hmm. She says, while Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Uh, I wanna press, I want more information on that. Okay. She moved in to deliver a fatal strike? Yes, I'm sure of it. She threw down her staff and reached into her rope for her weapon. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was this, what was this weapon? It, uh, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Sorry. Um, it was some kind of dagger. A dagger, huh? And at least don't even try to stab her with this weapon? To kill Miss Faye? Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> you look like I did. You look like I did after I mistakenly took a swig of. What? Wait, wait. <laughs> You know, I saw a comic related to this. It's like, it's like, babe, I I'm not sure how I can say this. Oh, just say it already. Horchestershire. <laughs> <laughs> I just played odd. Ah, this this word came up. So wait, is it hor horchester Horchestershire? Uh, Horses Shire sauce. 
Worcestershire. Worcestershire, sh shush. <laughs> okay. Huh. All right. Do you have a problem with the testimony we're hearing from your old client, lawyer boy? Hmm. Do I have a problem with Iris's testimony? There's just one thing. One little thing. Your Honor, I have a small problem with the witness's testimony. You do? But this witness is your own client. Yes, well, nevertheless. That's fine. Witness, let's add your, la your last statement to the testimony. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, just a moment. It's my job to say that. Listen, Gramps, I won't say it again. Final judgment will be rendered by me. <laughs> okay, now. Let's continue. She threw her staff away and pulled a dagger from the inside of her robe. Which doesn't make any sense, because if we present Mystic Elise's stab, stab, uh, stab, <laughs> staff, um, why would her she need a, staff. her staff? Why would she need a dagger? She could just use her freaking sword staff. <clears throat> Sister Iris, there's something strange about your version of events. Huh? Miss Donum throwing her staff away makes no sense at all to me. But you can do with the staff. All you can do with the staff is hit someone. Naturally, you wouldn't know this, Sister Iris. But ah, jeez. Sorry, that was that was tender. It scared me. No, I I heard that. <laughs> you see, you know what you remind me of right now? What? Riku from Final Fantasy X: The Thunder Plains. Aww. <laughs> Aww. She didn't like thunder. <laughs> Now I want to play Final Fantasy X. Uh, I'm still so, I'm still so finishing 15. <laughs> yeah, I was just finished. <laughs> the victim's staff had a special feature about it. As you can see, it's a sword. Ah! If you least Donum really had wanted to kill Maya Faye, she wouldn't have needed to use a separate dagger. Now when she already had a beautiful blade in her hands already. True. Well, Sister Iris, what do you have to say to that? Uh, I, uh... That was an impressive bit of investig investigating, Shrite. I never would have thought that there was a sword hidden in that staff. But even so, how should I... how should I put this? Huh? A long sword is unwieldy and thus quite ineffective in close quarters combat. Maybe that's why she chose a dagger over her blade. Uh, um, well... Anyway, the type of weapon she chose to use isn't what's important here. The important thing is that she tried to kill Maya Faye. As long as there's nothing strange about that, there's no problem with her testimony. But there is something strange about this whole testimony. Well, Mr. Wright, the prosecution has a point. Very well, Your Honor. The defense will now present evidence to back its argument. N Mr. Wright? I have here another piece of evidence that shows that this testimony can't can't be trusted. Because Miss Elise Donan would never attempt to take the life of Maya Faye. Because... 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 Oh. Oh. We gotta present her profile. Because she's her mom! Ah! Elise Donin would never have attacked Maya Faye. How can you be so sure? Because the victim's real name was not Elise Donin. Her real name was... Misty Faye. Faye? Ah! No! Not Mystic Misty Faye! Who, who is this Misty Faye? Is she related to... Misty Faye is the master of the Ukraine channeling technique. She's also... The mother of Maya Faye! Uh, are you serious? Yes. I is it really true, Mr. Wright? Was Elise Donem actually the great mystic Misty? There's no doubt about it. It looks like Iris had no idea. I can hardly believe it. The idea that she would try to kill her, her only daughter, one she hadn't seen in 17 years. Perhaps the prosecution can offer some explanation for why she would do such a thing? Ugh. 
order, order in the court. For upon hearing, for, um, so, oh, sorry. Upon first hearing the witness's testimony, it seemed natural enough. However, in light of some facts that have just been presented, one that the victim supposedly threw away a sword during a fight, and two that the peep two people battling to the death were mother and daughter, despite the facts being believable when taken on their own. When taken together, the entire story seems difficult to believe. Listen, there's nothing in this world that that's impossible, except for one little thing. Yes? What is this one little impossible thing? Ha! <laughs> you still don't get it. You think maybe my beans are under-roasted? You, you think maybe my beans are under-roasted, but you have no idea, Gramps. You know, what the... What the hell is it? I, beans? I would like some beans. Well, maybe no. Um, c could you get to your point, please? I heard this witness's confession this morning. Just as I had taken the first sip of my eighth cup of morning coffee. Ugh. You're going to ruin your health, my friend. Anyway, after hearing this woman's confession, I had a detective who loves to investigate, who loves to investigate sent to the scene of the crime. And, uh, he discovered this little beauty. Is that the dagger the witness testified to seeing? Obviously, Your Honor. But do you, do you not notice something else? Now that you mention it, if you look closely, there appears to be a blood stain. Where did you find that? I didn't see that when I investigated the crime scene. Did you investigate the pine tree at the crime scene? Huh? The pine tree? This dagger was stuck in the backside of the pine tree. When the last blow was struck, ending the violent battle between the two women, this little baby was thrown into the direction of the back of the pine tree. Which means the blood on the dagger belongs to the victim, correct? Huh. Were you even listening, old man? I first heard his confession this morning, just as I had taken the first of my 13th cup of morning coffee. Did you say it was your eighth just a few minutes ago? <laughs> I didn't have enough time to get the blood analyzed on such short notice. In any case, the court will accept the dagger as evidence. Furthermore, I ordered that a blood test be performed on it immediately. This is my sweetheart. Make sure you shoot her, right? Bailiff, get this piece of evidence to the crime lab for testing immediately. Okay. All right. Now, see what I, what I find weird is I don't think if you even if you even examine a pine tree during that uh, investigation, mm -hmm. I don't think you would have ever found it. I think this is meant to happen, by the way. I think. Oh. So, uh, but yeah, it just made, made me think. I'm like, if we if we did examine it, was there was going to be an excuse why he can't go to the back of it, or maybe he didn't notice it? I don't know. Interesting. <sighs> now then, the testimony we've just been uh, we've just heard had numerous unbelievable aspects to it. However, after having found the very dagger of the witness spoke of, I believe we can consider her testimony to be credible. Crap. Cute girls never lie. Ever. Uh... Ah, that's a complete BS right there. <laughs> oh, God. In any case, witness, if you could please testify again to this court. Um, about what, Your Honor? About the incident you saw. The battle between the two women. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Oh, my gosh. The battle. Which we will discuss in the next episode. Ha ha. Aww. <laughs> okay. So thank you guys so very much for watching. In the next episode, we'll cross-examine the battle testimony. Ooh. <laughs> if no one's told you that they love you today, I do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.